good day. This is Bennett, also known as Jeremiah. Today we're going to talk about how to know whether to apply grade 11 financial mathematics or grade 12 financial mathematics. If you're interested in more videos, the playlist is found at the end of this video. It is also found right here on the top right of the screen at the suggested video. So let's begin. So they said Abel invested 12,000 into an account that offers an interest rate of 10% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate how much you would have saved after 9 years. So if you look at this question, this person deposited once and leaves the money to grow for a period of time. Whenever somebody invests once and leaves it to grow, this is definitely grade 10 and grade 11 financial mathematics. This is where we have to use simple interest or compound interest depending on the situation. So in this particular case, we know that we have to use compound interest because it's compounded monthly. So as long as they tell us it's compounded, we know that we have to use compound interest. So whenever money is deposited only once, it is guaranteed that it is the lower grade financial mathematics, right? Either simple interest or compound interest. The difference between grade 12 financial mathematics and the other grades financial mathematics is what we call annuity situation. So grade 12 financial mathematics is based on annuity. This is when you know that definitely you have to use either the present value or the future value formula. So an annuity situation is when a person keeps on depositing or keeps on withdrawing the same amount for a consistent period of time. For instance, somebody depositing 1.5 every month. So the amount has to be consistent and the period must be consistent. So this person will deposit either every month or every year or every quarter, which is three months, or every six months, which is twice a year. So when you see a person constantly depositing money or constantly withdrawing money, this is an annuity situation. So this is when you use either present or future value. All right, here is another scenario. So you're told, suppose that Precious invests 500 every month for a period of eight months, starting one month from now. Her interest is 9% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the value of her investment at the end of eight months after she has made the eight payment. So what you have to notice is this particular portion. She is investing 500 every month. So it's not money that has been left once off and grows. It's money that is consistently being deposited into an account while it is growing. So this is when we know that we have to use either the future value or the present value. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about present value and future value and the actual questions and how to apply them. I'm also going to talk about the three point check. Apparently, the majority of students don't know the three point check and yet this is what should always be used whenever it is an annuity situation. In this particular video, I want you to know the clear difference between grade 11 financial mathematics and grade 12 financial mathematics because eventually both of them do come out in the final exam. Let me show you two more examples before we call it a lesson. Just before I continue, if you want to be treated whether it is online or physically, whether it is the situation where you are struggling in maths or whether it is the situation where you are good in maths but want perfection, take a screenshot or save these details. Whether you are studying Cambridge, which is the UK curriculum, or whether you are studying NSC, which is the South African curriculum, or IEB, or native courses which start from N1 to N6, or any curriculum you're doing, no matter which country you're at, we offer tutorials. We've got lessons and practice sessions five days a week. We also give you tests once a week so that we can check your improvement. All right, here is another scenario. So here they said, Miss Naidu opens a savings account and the following transactions occurred. She deposited 15,000 immediately. Three years later, she withdrew 10,000 rands. After a further four years, she deposited 21,500. Calculate how much will she have 7 years later, 14 years after the initial investment. So, is this grade 11 or grade 12 financial mathematics? Notice that she made the following 3 transactions. She deposited this immediately. After 3 years, she withdrew 10,000. After a further 4 years, she deposited 21,500. 
So I want you to notice that even though there are multiple transactions, right, deposits and withdrawals, this is still grade 11 financial mathematics. Matter of fact, it is the topic called timeline. If you want the video of timeline, it is right here on the top right of the screen at the suggested video. So this is not an annuity situation because it is not a constant period, right? It is not a consistent period. It is not deposited every month or every three months or every half yearly or even every year. So because it is not a consistent period of time and a consistent amount, it is not an annuity situation. So notice that it is not a consistent period. The first transaction is done immediately. The next transaction is done three years later, right? It's actually a withdrawal instead of a deposit. And after a further four years, she deposited 21,500. So it is not a consistent period. Let's go for the last example of this video. Here is another example. Just before we proceed, if you're interested in knowing the prices of the tutorials, the video that contains the prices and the updated contact details just in case these ones have changed is found at the end of this video. All right, here is the final situation. So they said Gift takes out a loan to buy a car and will pay back the loan over three years. He plans to pay 2000 per month starting in one month's time. Calculate how much Gift will borrow now if the interest rate is charged at 14% per annum component monthly. So is this grade 11 or grade 12 financial mathematics? This is definitely grade 12 financial mathematics because the amount is consistent, right? And it's not deposited once and left to grow. It is actually deposited for a consistent period. So the main difference between grade 11 and grade 12 financial mathematics is annuity situation. So always check, is the person depositing the same amount for the same period of time? All right, we have reached the end of this video. I have included a playlist of similar type of questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Any questions you've got or any video you want me to create, please comment below. See you in the next video.